Assalamu alaikum, 1 p.m. This is Radio Pakistan, the news read by Shiraz Mahmood Khan. First, the headlines. Prime Minister will address United Nations General Assembly today, drawing world's attention towards emerging humanitarian crisis in occupied Kashmir. Kashmir Day is being observed today to express solidarity with the oppressed people of occupied Kashmir. In occupied Kashmir, the grim situation remains unchanged on 54th consecutive day today due to the continuous restrictions and communications blackout by the occupation authorities. International cricket makes historic return to the country as first one day between Pakistan and Sri Lanka is being played in Karachi today. And now news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan, who is on board Kashmir in New York, will address the United Nations Assembly today, drawing world's attention towards the emerging humanitarian crisis in occupied Kashmir. During the address, his message will be clear to find a peaceful solution for the Kashmir dispute. He will also highlight the plight of Kashmiri people who continue to suffer a suffocating lockdown. Prime Minister Imran Khan says United Nations should send neutral observers in the occupied Kashmir to find the ground realities. In the address of Asian society in New York, he said India has been keeping 8 million Kashmiris in captivity for 54 days as the entire rally is locked down. Imran Khan said new, two nuclear powers are at drag drawn with each other because of latest Kashmiri situation and RSS ideology prevailing in India. He said even Christians and Sikhs are not feeling secured in Kashmir Valley and urged world powers to take notice of human rights violations in Kashmir. Imran Khan said Pakistan will try to mediate on Iran issue. Kashmir Day is being observed to express solidarity with oppressed people in Indian-occupied Kashmir. The day is aimed to exposing Indian militant human rights violation in occupied Kashmir and draw world's attention to plight of Kashmiri people. In occupied Kashmir, the grim situation remains unchanged on 54th consecutive day today due to the continued restrictions on communications and blackout imposed by occupation authorities. Normal life continues to remain crippled in Kashmiri Valley and Muslims majority areas of Jammu region are snapping of communication services, closure of markets, absence of public transport. Meanwhile, the occupation authorities intensified restrictions in Srinagar and other areas of Kashmir Valley to prevent people from staging anti-Indian demonstration after Juma prayers today. The United States has demanded to immediately ease restrictions imposed in occupied Kashmir. According to AFP top uh, U.S. State Department official Alice Wells said that we hope to see rapid action lifting restrictions and release of those who have been detained. She also said the United States is concerned by widespread detention, including those of polit politicians and business leaders and restrictions on the residents of Jammu and Kashmir. Election Tribunal Quetta has disqualified Deputy Speaker National Assembly Qasim Suri as member of National Assembly. He was elected uh, from National Assembly constituency in 8265. Election Tribunal headed by Abdullah Baloch issued verdict on a rate petition filed by Qasim Suri's rival candidate from Balochistan, National Party Mengel, showing him a frigging. In his verdict, the judge also ordered holding by election an information seat. Iran has released the British oil tanker, which was detained in July this year. The Stena Impera was detained by Iran's Revolutionary Guards in Strait of Hormuz after Britain seized an Iranian tanker of territory of Gibraltar. Iranian tanker was released in August by the Britain. Saudi Arabia will start issuing tourist visa from tomorrow as part of uh, to push diversify its economy. 
Promotion of tourism is a part of 2030 reform program made by Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman in order to prepare the biggest Arab economy for the post oil era. The first one day international three match series between Pakistan and Sri Lanka is being played in Karachi today. The match will start at 1500 hours Pakistan standard time. High security arrangements have been put in place and 3000 500 police personnel will perform their duty around the stadium. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, log on to our website, radio.gov.pk, and also watch our live streaming of the bulletin on facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.